Hello Dicers, welcome back to Dice Decides and welcome back to another Feel Good Friday. So, do you consider yourself a perfectionist? Because I definitely have considered myself that before. So, how to stop being a perfectionist? So, I got a little story for you guys. So way back when I started making gaming videos with face cams, I, uh, I always try to maintain the same location for the face cam, if that makes sense. I wanted to always have exactly the same size of the face cam and exactly the same location on the screen. Like I would spend so much time trying to match it with the older videos I would go back and forth and be like oh I think it's I think it's here I, I think it's, it's I think it's right here right no a bit to the right I would spend so long and for what reason I was just being a perfectionist I realized that this is just wasting my time what's the point of this <laughs> perfectionism is not helpful guys it's not helpful at all because what is perfect it's such a strange concept we have to be perfect <laughs> what does it mean to be perfect so it, it was just so in my way I realized and ever since I realized that I have not cared about such small details which literally no one notices I don't know why I cared so much I really don't. It was such a weird perfectionist state that I'm so glad I got rid of because ever since then I have had such a better workflow <laughs> and it's just so much nicer because a lot of us are looking at such small details trying to perfect every little small detail or waiting for the perfect moment in certain situations waiting for a perfect moment to do something and guess what there is no perfect moment there's only this moment this moment happening right now is the only moment you have whether it's perfect or not that's for you to decide but don't wait for the perfect moment because it may never arrive and so I encourage you all to stop being a perfectionist and stop waiting for moments that are not even guaranteed. Because I've wasted so much time. You have no idea. I was <laughs> comparing videos and it was never exactly the same anyway. I don't know why I bothered. <laughs> so it's such a relieving feeling to move away move completely away from perfectionism and just embrace everything that's not completely perfect but okay anyway if that makes sense <laughs> because the word perfect the word perfect itself it doesn't even have a true definition, does it? <laughs> what is perfect? Something that's perfect for one person is not perfect for another person. So there really isn't anything that is perfect. <laughs> Except you, of course. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but you are all perfect, okay? You're all perfect already. So there's no reason to be a perfectionist because there's nothing else to perfect when you are already perfection. <laughs> you were born perfect, Dicers, and once you realize that, anything you do is perfect. So, go out there and do stuff without worrying about it being perfect, because guess what? It already is. <laughs> it already is perfect imperfections. Everything is perfect. This this tree branch is so perfect. I mean, 
Have you seen a more beautiful tree branch? I haven't. Love you, nature. So perfect. Perfection is in the eye of the beholder. That's a saying I remember and it's true. <laughs> Stop perfecting things that are already perfect. Stop looking at the smallest details to get things right when most people aren't even gonna notice. <laughs> You're literally perfecting something only for yourself. And is that worth it? It was worth it for me at the time, but then after I've sp <laughs> after realizing I'm spending so much time perfecting something that no one even notices, it became so pointless. It became just such a hassle for no reason. And I am so glad I realized that because a lot of people might not realize that. They will continue to perfect some things and it's only perfection in their eyes. <laughs> like I'm saying, other people are not even gonna notice it probably. But yes, it's, it's very good to perfect your craft and improve your whatever you're doing. That's great. But perfectionism, it's, it's such a strange mindset when you're trying to perfect things that aren't even that important, objectively viewing. So, it's, it's all about relaxing. Relax, guys. I'm sure whatever you're doing is already very amazing. So, don't beat yourself over something not being exactly like you wanted. Because that's what can happen. That's what can happen so many times. We have an, a perfect image in our minds and we want to create it and we spend so long trying to fix every single detail until it's exactly like we imagined it. <laughs> but life is not like that. You can never have something completely like you imagined it. That's never gonna happen. Yes, it can be very, very similar to what you imagined. It might be almost exactly like you imagined it. But to go as far as perfecting every single detail, it's just gonna be a hassle, guys. And you, you, just, you just have to ask yourself, is it even worth it? Is it worth it to spend so much time to satisfy the image I have in my mind. In my experience, the answer is no, it's not worth it. <laughs> Just do things to the best of your ability, but not overwork yourself to reach a certain perfection. Because like I said, perfection is only, it's, it's literally an illusion. Perfection is an illusion. Such an illusion. Because, guess what? I'm not perfect. Or... Some people might think I'm perfect, then... Great. <laughs> perfect is not a thing. That's the thing. <laughs> Either everything is perfect, or nothing is perfect. So... I like to say that everything is perfect. It sounds very nice. There's a bee attacking my tripod. What are you doing? <laughs> what a moment that was. It was a perfect moment. It's a cute little bee that you didn't see, but I did. And it was, it's, it's perfect. It's a perfect bee just flying around, living its life, not worrying about perfection. And that's exactly what you should do. Just go by day by day and do your best to live a nice life without worrying about perfection. Because perfectionism has slowed me down so many times in the past. And 
I am so happy I've moved away from that. Yes, I still try to make things, whatever I make, make it nice and as, as good as I can, but I'm not seeking some sort of perfection because then so many things you do will not be good enough. It would be like, oh no, I shouldn't have done that. I need to change it and you're gonna spend so much time worrying about things like that, that you're just gonna drive yourself nuts. And I have in the past. And it's not fun. And I don't wish that upon anyone. And so, try to move away from perfection. <laughs> it does sound like a very good thing, perfection, you know, that's like, oh yeah, yeah, that's positive. Perfection is great. No, it's not. <laughs> perfection is not good. <laughs> so, uh, that's what I want to remind you all to not try to seek perfection and try to seek reality. Look at reality. When I compare cities to nature, <laughs> cities are trying to be so perfect, the roads are straight, everything's so perfect, perfect, but when you go to nature, everything's a seeming chaos everything grows and things are falling on you and you're you have leaves in your face and you know it's it's not perfect but that's the beauty of it I love nature who doesn't care about being perfect it's it's clearly way better than anything else nature is thriving Nature doesn't need to be perfect, it just is. And I think we can all learn something from that. To just be now, be in the moment, be as you are, and realize there is no such thing as perfection. Us humans love to create these boxes and rules and laws and all of these things to create this perfect world but there is no perfect world or rather the world is already perfect <laughs> it's all about how you look at it but when you look at nature it's just so all over the place and it's fine there's a lot of animals that live in nature and they're fine you know so it's about your mindset guys remember don't seek perfection and live a happy life doing whatever it is that you love doing because even if you're trying to do a drawing for example you might also get in a perfectionist mindset to be like oh I have to get this <laughs> I have to get this hand right I can't get it right, you keep perfecting, perfecting, perfecting and you're never finishing the drawing because it's it's never good enough in your mind. But just try to finish that hand and let it be how it is. Yes, you can change it a few times, but don't keep changing it without an end. Because yes, you can drive yourself insane with perfectionism. So it's not, it's not always helpful, guys. For the most part, it's not. So just finish that hand. Keep drawing it. There you go, it's a hand. And it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And then you can start a different drawing. Just move on. That's what I've learned with perfectionism. Just, just move on, you know? I get stuck, I used to get stuck so many times. Like with the example I, I, I was talking about. <laughs> Matching that face cam to older videos. It's usually on the same playthrough because uh, I wanted it to, it to be exactly the same. But then I just realized it, it, it doesn't even matter. It, it, it really doesn't matter. No one thinks about that. 
because they're just watching the video. Yes, face cam is good to have, but it doesn't matter if it's exactly in the same spot as the last one. Like, millimeter by millimeter, pixel by pixel, exactly the same, because that's how I would match it. I would try to match it so exact that at some point I just realized, is it even worth it? And definitely not. <laughs> Spend too much time on this. And yeah, I, I hope my experience can help some of you out uh, who experience similar things in life, trying to perfect something that's not even worth it. Yeah, some things can be worth it. You have to kind of think about it if it is worth it. But sometimes we do things without really thinking about the fact if it's really worth it to begin with. <laughs> and that's what I was doing. Um, luckily, not for a very long time. It was just in the beginning. But still, I remember it and... Well, it's a life lesson, I guess. It's to stop being a perfectionist. Because, like I said, perfection. What is it? What is perfection? Apparently, in my thinking, way back, perfection is having the same exact format for a playthrough, exactly the same outlook, the same, that everything looked the same. Apparently that was perfection for me, but why? Why, why is that perfection? <laughs> it's not, it's just, yeah, it's kind of nice, but it really doesn't matter. <laughs> so it's a nice realization you can have to realize that what you thought of perfection really isn't perfection if you think about it. You have to do some mental exercises sometimes to let go of your perfectionism, but uh, it's worth to do. It's definitely worth to do. So I hope you can all move away from perfectionism. And not all of us are perfectionists, I don't think. I. But I, I do know that a lot of people are, and it gets in people's way. <laughs> it's getting in their way. How can perfection, how can being perfect get in your own way? It's, it's a contradiction. <laughs> it's, it really is, if you think about it. Because if you're perfect, there shouldn't be anything wrong. There shouldn't be anything in your way. So that just shows that being perfect is not perfect, which means there is no such thing as perfection. And I have said perfection so many times in this video already, <laughs> but um, it's definitely a thing I have experienced. And so I hope that my experience can help some of you guys and yeah, that's my helpful tip to calm down and take life as it is. Don't worry about small details like I used to. <laughs> At first I actually did enjoy it. I did enjoy having it exactly the same. But then after a while I just realized, do I enjoy it or do I just make myself do this? And I don't know, it was just weird. But anyway. I hope this helped in any way, and uh, yeah, as always, just another Feel Good Friday. Check out the Feel Good Friday merch if you feel like it, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Just chilling out in nature. Oh yeah, I'm glad it didn't rain, because it rained like half an hour ago. <laughs> okay, remember to gently tap on the like button and ring that bell so you don't miss an upload, and thanks for watching, Dicers. Hope. You have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you next time.